You are good. All right, so we got a problem. We got the, oh, do we have an extra string? I got a string for you. Don't even worry about that. Okay. We're not even gonna use that mess. That's craziness. Okay, so we got a cool little tool here we're gonna use to change the string. So, it does that, boom, pops this out. Now we take out this. And I'm just gonna wrap this up. That way it doesn't just roll away from us. All right, and I just put this safely somewhere. Now we have this thing here. There's some excess string we gotta get rid of. And what I like to use is something like, you know, a Swiss Army knife or a screwdriver, something that could just get in there and, you know, pick out the, uh, the string excess. Like a finger. Or oh, yeah, this works even better. Look at that. You get that right out. So yeah, always have one of these with you. All right, and now I got a string, regular string, the worst thing you want to color. Okay, now here comes the tricky part. So first thing, we're gonna just stick this right in the hole here. Okay, so we get that down there and we push this peg in all the way. And then we yank the string up as hard as we can, make sure that the peg is holding in. Good. Now we can bring this thing across. Now this is where it gets, uh, oh, I see what you did here. Yeah. So this is where things get tricky. We're gonna have to undo this one because we're gonna, we're gonna rewind that one another way. You'll see. <laughs> All right, so the important thing is this. See, this is the mistake here, is that this one was round underneath, and because you want the tension to always go towards the center, this is going to be going on top. So that's going to go on top, and what we're going to do, we're just going to wind this around a couple times before we stick it in the hole. It gives a better grip, and it helps the string stay in tune longer. All right, so we got that. Now, he brought this nifty tool, so we can actually use this to... Now, this, this tool also has a little cutter on it. Uh, some of these work good and some of these don't, so you just have to... You're just going to have to find one that works, and if it doesn't, you can always use your little wire cutters. And if you don't have either one of these, you can just twist it back and forth like this until it snaps off. All right, but we were able to cut it. So now you see this is the wrong way to do it, where you see it's coming underneath. You don't want that. You always want it to come over on this side and under on this side. That way the tension is going towards the center because that's the strongest part of that head. All right, that's pretty much it. Then we just put it in tune and we're good to go. So now we'll just fix, we're just gonna, we'll fix that one up. I had to loosen it for that. Mm -hmm. 